They knew about my wife. They knew that she suffered with dementia. It makes me almost feel like they're trying to make me lose my mind, right? This could be so many different things, like, to it. Alright, I'm getting over that. Where we head to? The cave. Which is, um... North from here, right? I did get spiked up, and that dude was taking pictures of me. North. God, the way he jumps down, it makes my... Me so worried. He should break his ankles, really. Let's go have a look at this cave. Come on. Hey, you. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. <sighs> I didn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. So I don't trust you, lady. Answers from that, huh? Right, we're in deeper into the sadness cave. Flashlight on the head. What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Way out of the cave. All right, into the murder cave we go. Oh, my days. All right. What was that noisy? Trust this. Trust this. Right, we made it. Freezing in here. Bless you. Is anybody down there? Completely cut off from her. All right, this is interesting. I'm looking around a bit more. I didn't know there'd be stuff hidden. Shoe. It's just a random one shoe. One shoe. We found one shoe. Maybe we can find the other. We didn't find anything in the cave. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. Well, I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. 
All right, we're going back. I didn't see the anchor. Where are we? Zoom in. Yeah. Can we climb these rocks? Maybe not, huh? Oh. Oh, the dragons! Science fair rough draft, okay. Talking mirrors. How the ham radio can we use mirrors to talk to people far away? If I told you you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk people far away, you would probably think I was a liar, but you'd be wrong. Meteors and it, the alien rocks come to our planet from outer space can be used to bounce off ham radio waves off. Let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you're thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie or Light of the Navigator. It's not real. But you are wrong. It's real. It's science. Possible because meteors scatter communications. My science fair project proves that the meteor scatter communication is real. But what is? MSC is a radio propagation mode that utilizes the ions trails of meteors within our atmosphere. Meteors upon the atmosphere entry can create dense parts of ionized particles that radio operator can use to establish brief communication paths between operators. Up to five. That's pretty cool. Okay. So this, this Brian dude is experimenting with ham radios and stuff like that. That's interesting. I'm going to test having small chat with a friend that my dad made in the army who lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 1,000 miles away from the house. We are going to try and talk regular times. But my hope is that it won't work and we have to wait for a meteor shower to establish communication. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah, he must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Okay, born to rope, rocks, tools. Hey, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's quite a... Why was he trying to get his backpack back, though? I mean, did he drop it? Alright, that's interesting. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I love the Freddy using a bloody head as a basketball. That's really cool. <laughs> that is some really cool drawings. And an eyeball for a basketball. 
Dude with swords and arrow for his head. This is really cool. You can read it. That's old that once held school papers and reports presumably to face by animal crying different. Alright. I'm gonna keep that. You made the place pretty comfy too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Plains, tower. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. This is weird, like... Dear Ranger, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. If you do me a favor and return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail. Okay, here's address. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward for this. You're probably wondering why I left these here. I'll lay on my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time, Ryan. But we saw the shoe in that thing, so did his dad push him to, like, climb more? Oh, we got climbing gear? Nice. I'm ready. With Brian and Ned. I mean, they seem to be working on this stuff together. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Okay. Video game toy? Yeah, give it. Broken? There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Yeah, everybody Gosh, likes Brian Pong. had everything he loved out there. Alright, I'm gonna drop. Wizards and Weaven Sheet. There's some grade A dork contraband here. Hey, there's nothing you wrong with that. Protector? I found a, uh, I guess... The data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf, armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Nothing wrong with a bit of wizards and wyverns. Dungeons and Dragons. Ah, uh, okay. Gladius Silva, okay, took good race, half elf, fast ranger, level four. 29. Alright, we've got his height, his weight, rugged, black eyes, blue. Green plan, home world. Oh, cool stuff. Okay. Goodness. Right, saving throws. Okay, alright. Surprise shield is real, so I'm just reading this. Interesting. Thing. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That. All right. Let's see. I'm with my dad in Atlanta. W. White. It's pretty neat. My dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska. There are a few mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry, I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad? when school starts because I don't think he knows. 
Your friend and name of Brian Goodwin. Oh, Brian seems like a lovely uh, little boy. He's with his dad, and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Oh, he seems like such a courteous boy. Like... Bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, Anna. G S. Five degrees north. Comic book. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Alright, um. Can we not go back in the cave? Then we have the climbing equipment, or was that all blocked off? I think it was all blocked off, right? Kind of like came out of there. Sad in this hole, right? Up here. Why not? Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're not doing it. Alright, we can't go back the way. Alright, I'm stuck. Uh, help. Brian seems like a lovely kid. Like, who writes their name a postcard saying that I can't mow your lawn? Why is up here as well? And all this. Right. If Brian is real and this is not just a a thing to make me. Am I not in it? Am I not good at Come on. You can do it. Oh, alright. Can't go that way either. Surely we can get down from here. Can we climb up here, though? Maybe, possibly. Oh, don't know anyway. Um. Um. Oh, that's wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, so look, we are. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Confused. I think the trail's like this way. Seems to be the only way I can go. Stop on things. We can't. Can we get back up here? Am I missing something? Maybe I've got to look at like this rock, potentially. A little deeper in the cave. Saying we have to go that way, alright. Um, maybe I 
can get up here somehow. Can I not jump up there? Seems very bizarre sometimes. Well, this is the first problem I've came across. And we can get up this way. I can't get up any further than there. This level. Nothing on here. Can't climb anymore. Uh, can I look at that tree? No. I mean, it's right there. Hmm. Same way you do have to go that way. There must be something I'm missing. You know, we can get up there. Can I go up yet? Can I access the tools anyway? No, that's not the button. Uh, I haven't got an inventory of anything. Zoom in. Yeah, saying that we have to go that way, but I don't know how to get up. Um, they were missing something back here. Dinosaur? Yeah, I'm taking Mr. Dinosaur with me. Maybe he might help me. Can't go down that way. It won't let me go down. Cracked rock. Oh, alright. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur. I'll pop you down. Oh, alright, okay. We found it. What do you think is in there? Um. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Yeah. A uh, hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. That'd be lady. I still think this mind game is going on, like, to make me... Question life, where are we going to? We um, uh, Also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. I told you I didn't kill them. some em. farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Uh. Damn it. Those girls really did a number on you, huh? No, I'm glad they're not dead, but it also means that they weren't a part of what's going on. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You just have to keep searching. Yeah. I'm searching, I'm doing it. 